Welcome to Technical Studies. In this video, we will learn how to mark the nozzle location on a vertical shell. Important things to remember. Tank outside diameter. Nozzle OD. Nozzle elevation. Nozzle orientation, in this case, 95 degree. Nozzle projection from the shell. Shell thickness, in this case 10 mm. Root gap. And, type of beveling. As per the weld symbol, there is a bevel of 30 degree, from inside the shell and a 6 mm fillet weld from outside the shell. To mark the orientation of the nozzle, we need to find the circumference of the tank. There are two ways to find the circumference. Calculate the circumference using a formula. Or measure the circumference directly on the tank. For large diameter tanks, the first method is acceptable. For smaller tanks and pressure vessels, measure the circumference of the shell after completion of the welding. Let us learn how to calculate the circumference of the shell by using a formula. To mark the nozzle location on a shell, we need to convert the degree unit to length unit. The circumference of a shell is outer diameter into 3.142. Length of 1 degree is, circumference divided by 360. Outer diameter of the tank is 6000 mm. Nozzle orientation is 95 degree. Circumference is, 6000 multiplied by, 22 forward slash 7 equals 18857 mm. 1 degree equals 18857 forward slash 360 equals 52.38 millimeters. Ninety-five degree equals fifty-two point three eight multiplied by ninety-five equals four thousand nine hundred and seventy-six millimeters. Length of five degree equals fifty-two point three eight multiplied by five equals two hundred and sixty-two millimeters. Second method to mark the shell orientation is, you need to measure the actual circumference of the shell by using a large flexible measurement tape. Divide the circumference by 360. Then, multiply by the nozzle orientation. Suppose the actual circumference is 18,850, instead of the theoretical length, 18,857 mm. One degree length will be, 18,850 divided by 360 equals 52.361 mm, instead of 52.38 mm. You can either mark the orientation of the nozzle from 0 degree or from 90 degree orientation. Divide the shell circumference into four equal parts and write the degrees as shown. Actual circumference of the shell is 18,850 millimeters. 90 degree is equal to 18,850 divided 360 into 90 is equal to 4,712.5 millimeters. First, mark the zero degree line. Center of a long seam shall be used for reference. Use the progressive method for marking the center lines. Mark the degree on the top and the bottom of the shell. Draw a line connecting these marks. Mark 0 degree, 90 degree, 180 degree, and 270 degree. Let us mark the nozzle location. You can either mark the orientation, starting from 0 degree, or from 90 degree. 
I suggest to mark from 90 degree. As we calculated earlier, 5 degree is equal to 262 millimeters. Mark 262 millimeters from 90 degree clockwise above and below roughly 3000 millimeters from the bottom of the shell. Draw a vertical line on these marks. Draw a line on this line, 3000 mm from the bottom of the shell as shown. The diameter of the nozzle is 79 mm. Add, for millimeter extra, to this, for root gap. After marking the center of the nozzle, punch mark the center point. Draw the diameter of the nozzle, including the root gap. Thank you for watching.